Hey guys, today it's going to be a showing off video. Now what that means is I've gotten in a whole bunch of new knives recently. So in this video I'm going to show them off before I get to work because that's why I'm kind of wearing some of my gears because I'm getting ready to get to work. So before I do that I'll show off some knives that I just got and some knives that my father bought off eBay for me to sell. So I guess the first one I'll start off with is the one I got. This is an M8 bayonet. Or technically an M7 bayonet in an M8 case. Now I originally had one of these a long time ago, but I traded for I traded this knife, my AK-47 bayonet, and one of my fighting knives in exchange for four 13-inch switchblades. So I'm kind of glad to have this bayonet back because I originally wanted, was trying to get another one. So I'm glad to get another one back. The only difference between this one and the one I had is the one I had didn't say Imperial on the guard. The one I had said something else on the guard. So, But I'm still fine with it. It's a nice bayonet to have in my collection. So now I've got to work on getting an AK-47 bayonet. And then my old fighting knife, which I'll probably be lucky if I ever find one of those again. And I bought this off a guy that I met on uh, Facebook, I think it was. Yeah, Marketplace. He sold me this. He thought it was an M1 Grand Bayonet. And I didn't know what it looked like. All he told me is he thought it was an M1 Grand. And I said, if it's an M1 Grand, I'll offer you 100 bucks for it. He went home, got the Bayonet, came back and met me. And when I instantly saw the handle and the sheath, I realized that this wasn't an M1. This is an M8 or an M7. And I said, sadly, man, this isn't worth that. This is normally worth, you could probably get 50 to 60 bucks out of it, depending on which company made it. And But I traded, he, he traded me this, a bunch of fishing lures, and a leather jacket, and, it, and a case knife in exchange for 40 bucks. He traded me this one and all that for 40 bucks, a couple of my knives, and a couple of my axes. So there's the bayonet. Let me set this down. Next is one of the knives my father bought off eBay. This is a super, no, this is a master Barlow knife. This is a lot larger than the normal Barlow's. Made in Colonial. This one I am definitely going to clean up. The, the handle doesn't need much cleaning up, but the blade definitely sure does. And the inside needs to be cleaned. But this one I'm definitely going to be turning around and selling. So if you're ever interested, hit me up on Facebook if you want to buy this from me. Down. Next, we'll go into this is another one that came out of that bundle. This is a it's open. This is a Imperial Ireland three-bladed pocket knife. This is another one I'm going to go ahead and clean up and probably resell because I've gotten plenty of these in the past. So this one I'm definitely going to clean up and resell to anybody who wants it. And this one says, it's just a heavy duty knife. It doesn't say China, but I can suspect it's probably made in China. All it has is got that on the handle and uh, whatever that is on the blade. But this one doesn't really need much work. It's, it's sellable as is, so this one I'm just going to sell as is. I'm not going to do anything to it. Next is another one that came in that bundle my father bought. This is a German electrician's knife. These were very common during the Second World War. A lot of German soldiers would have carried something like this. So this one I'm definitely going to turn around and resell because I already have two of them. So this one I'm going to turn around and resell to anybody who wants it. All it needs is a simple repolish and the handles need to be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, next is this is another one. This is a hammer brand pocket knife. It's in very rough shape, but not to where it can't be salvaged. And the logo is still in pretty good shape despite it being as old as it is. So this one I'm going to definitely do a lot of work to and clean this up and put it in my personal collection. So this one I'm going to keep because I love hammer brand pocket knives. Okay, next one. Let me get out, get out of my pocket. Uh, next is a no name. I can't really read the logo because the blade's so corroded. My father and I thought it was a Remington knife, but after looking at it, it's not a Remington knife. I don't think it is. 
But after I clean the blade and see the logo, it'll de I'll definitely determine what it is. So it's hearsay, their say of what it is. Next is another one. This is another one that came in that bundle my father bought. This no-name China knife. It has three blades on it. But this one I'm actually going to keep. I don't keep normal China stuff. But this one has sort of a charm to it. It has sort of like a unique blade that you don't normally see on a folding knife. And the nail nick on the particular blade right here is in a U shape. That actually bites into my nail pretty good when I try to open the blade. And it's got a good snap to it. Come on, get it open. I still have to oil some of these. Come on, get it open. Come on. There we are. And then one of my favorite things about this pocket knife is it's got a razor blade right here, a razor knife. So this one I'm definitely going to keep in my collection. I've already cleaned it up and just touched it up with some polishing compound. So this one I'm definitely going to keep in my collection because of that unique blade right there. Next, oh yeah, this is from that bundle that I got with that bayonet. This is that case knife I had just got done restoring. I restored this off camera because I really wanted to get it cleaned. It's a case XX USA model number 63047. I'm going to look this up later. It came out very well. The blade was rusted. The insides were badly corroded. Let me get it open. But as you can see, it's a lot better now. And I cleaned up the back spacers, and I cleaned up the spine, and polished it up. Got it all nice and clean. And once I look up how much this is worth, it may determine if I'll sell it or not. I already sold my case knife, so I might keep this one until I can get another one to sell. Now I'm back and close. And I love that the case has got a good snap to it. Okay, next is another one. Oh yeah, this is another one that I'm really curious about. This is a Colonial Providence USA electrician's knife, but it is in beautiful shape. I mean, if anyone can tell me how old this thing is, I would really love to know if it's what it's worth anything. I mean, it's in mint condition. I mean, it's easy to open. I mean, the insides are a little bit, got some gunk in it, but nothing that can easily be cleaned out. And that is just a beautiful knife in general. So this one I think I'm going to keep, but I would love to know how old it is. For a knife that looks this much mint, I'm very curious of how old it is. And it's got a patent number on it. Push the thing. It's got a patent number on it. So that means it must be some old, because most knives nowadays don't have a patent number. Unless they're expensive knives. So this one I might keep depending on how old it was and what it's worth. Next, another one. This is a... Oh, yeah. I don't know if I showed this one already, so I'll show it again. I bought... This is from another bundle that he bought. This is a German-made Barlow knife. So this one I'm going to sell as is to anybody who wants it. Hit me up on Facebook. I haven't done anything to it. I'm just going to leave it as is and sell it. I might clean it up for a couple extra money. Next is another Sabre. Let me get the blade open. Another Sabre pocket knife. This one I'm definitely going to keep because it's not like the ones I have. This one's got a whole, whole white handle with one bolster. Most of the ones I have have two bolsters. So this one I'm going to keep in my collection. And this is another unique little piece. All it says is Alaska. So this one I'm definitely going to sell to anybody who wants it. Because I don't really want this. This one I'll just sell off. And one of the best things that those knives came in is one of these little knife holders. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. And I'm actually going to keep this. Because my father said I can keep a few items, so this one I'm definitely going to keep because I don't have one of these knife holders, and these are really handy. So this I'm definitely going to keep. Alright, that's all the knives I've got to show, so 
If you want any videos or updates on any of these knives, happily hit me up in the comments. As always, stay sharp.